Good afternoon, hello everybody. We just wait a few more seconds for a few people to come in. Welcome to my balloon cupboard. Hi there. Welcome to the balloon cupboard. Let, my, let me get my comments coming up so I can see. If you want to say hello, leave a comment down below. You can say hello. There we go. Looks like we've got our comments going. Oh, people are coming in now. That's good. Fantastic. Hello. Are we all having a good day? Are we all having a good week? Hope so. Say hello if you want. If you want to, let me know you're in. I think we've got a few people in. I hope you're having a good day. This is my Disney episode. Ah, oh, hello Jenny. There we go. We've got a few people in. Hello Al. Hello Chris. Lily's Lily's watching. That's good. Hello Gemma. Fantastic. We've got people watching. Wow, that's brilliant. Amazing. Wow. It's my Disney episode. And uh, and uh, oh, who we got? We got. <laughs> We've got more people coming in, that's good. D, hello D. Oh, Ellie and Abel are watching. Hello Ellie and Abel, nice to see you. Hello from Byron, hi Byron. Uh, Oliver's watching, I, I know Oliver's watched before. Hi Oliver. Brilliant, and hello from Nat there, that's very good. Well done, well welcome, this is my Disney episode. I've been very excited about this Disney episode. Um, a few things to say first. Um, I did uh, last week a competition in for a local school and uh, I made a mermaid and uh, and people had to guess how many bubbles were in the mermaid I'm going to reveal the winner of the mermaid competition today later on all right so uh, I've still got the mermaid I'll get her out later on she's changed a bit because she's shrunk and she's going down but I'll get her out later on so you can see her um, but we will we will do the mermaid competition later on I don't know who's won my, my a friend of mine does and it's up there so we're gonna find out who won later on so that's good um, and what else oh yes the last episode I uh, started off by it was my jungle episode and I made I made a um, a koala and I was questioning whether a koala was a jungle animal and a few people said it wasn't uh, because they don't get jungles in Australia well I have had a message from someone in Australia who works in an Australian jungle helping to look after it and maintain it. They do have jungles in Australia. There is one at the top of the Northern Territory so I was quite pleased about, to hear about that. Well, there are jungles in Australia so maybe you do get koalas in jungles in Australia. So that's a, that was quite exciting to hear that, that come through. So thank you um, for that message uh, all the way from Australia. Amazing stuff. Good stuff. So anyway we're going to make an animal and uh, we, it is a Disney episode, but we need to make a Disney something, don't we? So let's see if we can make this. I've half made this one already. And you can have a guess what it's going to be if you want. That's the wrong colour. I need to get the right colour for this. Very important colours. There we go. The green one. I'm going to uh, blow this green up. I need a few green ones this. Now I have half made some of this already. And uh, if anybody has got Disney Plus you may be able to guess what this is because this is something that is on Disney Plus and something that I've seen and is very cute what do you think it might be? I have made a few bits of this already to make it go a bit quicker I need another balloon Another green one out. Hello Darren, nice to see you. Oh, we've got Brian watching as well. We've got lots of people in today. It might be, I think someone has guessed what it's going to be. Let's do that ear. Right, there we go. This is going to be an ear. Another ear. Make this ear the same. We don't want odd ears, do we? Not like my ears. My ears are odd. I've got one that sticks out like that. Actually. Got to make sure it's all the right size. Otherwise, it will look very odd. 
There we go. Is that looking like a, a, a Yoda? Do you think it's a baby Yoda? I think someone has guessed it's a baby Yoda. Uh, let me get these few bits I've made already. There's a nose there. That, that's a nose. And I've made his body already. So here we go. Let's put his nose on. His nose goes on his neck. It's very weird. You wouldn't think that normally, but that's where his nose goes. Onto his neck like that. Look. And now we're going to put his head on. He's got no nose yet. How does he smell? Terrible. And now he's got a nose. Oh, Sharon loves my shirt. Thank you. It's, it's all uh, it's all flowers. I've gone a bit flowery today. Now we need another balloon. Let's put this one up here. A very long one. This one is the bit that makes him look really cute. His little, little neck bit because he's got his nice neck thing that comes up over his uh, shoulders there and covers his chin. What else do we need? Oh yes, we need hands. He's got no hands at the moment. Look at that. Who'd have thought Disney was, was now, or Star Wars is now Disney, eh? It's good stuff, isn't it? They're going to take over the world soon. Shirt makes it look all fuzzy, yeah, it probably does actually. That's alright. Where's his little hands? Turn that around like that. And now we need. Oh, hello from the USA. Look at that. Hello again. It's Patty from the USA. Amazing. There you go. Right, let's uh, finish him off. We need eyes and we need to finish his ears off. I've made these bits already, but these go in here to make his nice little pink ears. There we go. He's got lovely little pink ears now. And now we need his eyes. You can't see where he's going yet. Let me get a, a white balloon out for his eyes. Last balloon here. He's probably my favourite, favourite character from Star Wars at the moment. This little mini Yoda. Now we need a pen. Darren's asked me what I do with all these balloons I make. Well, if you could see the rest of this room, you'd know. <laughs> Actually, what I did with, with some last week was, I have two children that live just there. Uh, I don't have two children. The neighbours have two children. I haven't got any children. But there's a, there are two children who live next door. Just over there, they do. And um, what I did was, was I put all the balloons into a big bin liner. I then sprayed the bin liner, inside the bin liner, with some special antibacterial spray to make sure they're all nice and clean. And I dropped it on their doorstep and rung their doorbell and ran away. That's what I did. And uh, I had a message later on to say that they love the balloons, so that was good. We're nearly done with this Yoda. So yeah, so I dropped them in, off at the neighbours. That's what I did with the balloons the other day. I heard they were very pleased with them. I keep picking up pens which are running out. That's not good, is it? Let me try another pen. Let's try and get... Ah, oh, there we go. A pen that works. I did that last week, didn't I? I picked up a pen that didn't work. Fantastic. How's that? Yeah, yeah, your ears picked up. I haven't got two children. There are two children next door. <laughs> yeah, I don't... 
yeah, let's not go there. Anyway, uh, fantastic. There's our little Yoda. Oh, I think I need to do one more bit. One more bit. I think we should give him a little smile, shouldn't we? And the last bit, which is a little bit of you white in his eyes, just to make him a bit more alive. There you go. How's that for a baby Yoda? Oh, fantastic stuff. And uh, I'm, I'm going to put him up here. Look, he's going to sit and watch, watch the magic show. Well, not magic show. Watch the balloon show. I'm not do magic today. <laughs> That's cool. Excellent. So I've made my baby Yoda. I've got my chicken as well. Look, my Easter chicken. You see that? There you go. He's up there. Look, stay there, Easter chicken. Ah. Oh. Now then. Um. Let's see what we do. No. Oh yes. Now I had a message from somebody up in Manchester. All right. A uh, little boy up in Manchester who asked me if I could make something. Okay, I'm not going to tell you who that person was because I think they want to keep stay stay anonymous. But they did ask me if I could make something, and their suggestion was, could I make a Toy Story soldier? Now you know those soldiers from Toy Story. Well, uh, I, I, I I have had a go. I've never made one before. To be honest, I've never made one before. So here we go. This is a soldier from Toy Story that I've had a go at. Never made one before. How's that? How's that for you? He's saluting. Mm. Right, that's it. This is my soldier from Toy Story. He's got all his army clothes on. He's completely green because that's what they are. They're completely green. Now normally they have a, a big base that they stand on as well. Big flat base so they don't fall over. I didn't get round to making that. So there is our army man. Right. There you go. I'm going to put him over here. Now we've got, we've got lots of comments today. You stay there, Mr. Army Man. But lots of comments there. Let's see what comments we've got. Oh, hello, Matthew. Matthew said hello. Uh, yes, I can do magic, Jenny. Yeah, I did magic in my first episode, I think. We might, we're trying to try and do some, some magic at some point, I'm sure. Uh, there we go. Uh, what else? Uh, May the force be with you. Thank you, Gemma. Uh, yeah, yeah, that was my first attempt at a, um, at a Toy Story Man. I've never done that. We've got a few first attempts today, I'll be honest. There's a few, there's a few things I'm going to be making which are my first attempt, especially when it comes to a little game we're going to be playing later on, all right? Do you think it looks like I've got butterflies coming up my shoulders? I've definitely got something going up my shoulders. Luckily not coming out my ears, isn't it? Yeah. Got my butterfly over there as well. So, now then, I had a, men I had a, a um, message from a, a, a lady who I used to go to school with a long time ago, that was. About 300 years ago. And uh, her little girl has been watching. Her name is, uh, is Ellie. And uh, I asked Ellie what her favourite... Uh, Disney character was and she told me and you're going to be seeing her later on in the game all right um, but Ellie asked me a question Ellie asked me uh, how long have I been making balloons and I jokingly said to her at first I said uh, about 10 minutes uh, and she, which was I think don't know if she made her laugh or not but she made me laugh um, anyway I, I thought I'd answer Ellie's question today Ellie I've been making balloons for 30 years <laughs> That's a long time, isn't it? Be making blooms. That's more than half my life. That's a that's a very long time. So anyway, um, what's your, anyway? I want to ask a question. What's your favourite Disney character? Have you got a favourite Disney character, or have you got a favourite Disney film? Leave a comment. I'd like to know what the favourite Disney character is. That would be awesome if you could tell me. Uh, we got we got lots of people watching today. It's good. Um, okay, then. now I think it's time for a little game. Should we have a guessing game? We're gonna have a bit of a guessing game here. I've made some balloons. And what you've got to do, you've got to guess who they are. They're Disney characters, and uh, they're all a certain type of Disney character. You've got to guess what character they are, all right? I've got my, my hiding board here, look. They're going to come up behind here, and uh, you've got to guess what Disney character they are. I'm only going to show you a little bit of the video, oh, of, the, um, of the balloon, okay? Caroline's been watching the wrong video. Caroline, you, don't worry, you can catch up with the beginning bit first, later on. Uh, so here we go. Are you ready for the first one? We're going to start off with an easy one. All right. I, I know. I, I yeah. I know some people who've got a uh, Buzz Lightyear is a uh, is a uh, D's favourite. Yeah. I'm going to tell you what mine is later on. We got Lightning McQueen. Is Byron's favourite. I love Lightning McQueen. It's good. Here we go. Let's see if you can guess who this is. I'm only going to show you a little bit. Here we go. Then. I'm going to show you the bottom bit first. The colour will give it away. I think. I come a bit forward a bit. 
Did you see that? I'll show you it again. There you go. How's that? Can you see that? Can you guess who that might be? Oh, we've got lots of people. Boy Scout from up. He's great. I love him. Um, yeah. Joe Tooley, you've been making runes as long as the Tooleys have been alive. Thanks. I have, yes. That's scary, isn't it? Uh, Sully would be good. He's very hairy. We've got lots of lots of uh, people coming through uh, with uh, their favourite... Yeah, yeah, Sully is Disney, it's Disney Pixar. Uh, I'm going to show you that again, see if you can guess who it is. I think someone has guessed. I think Nikki's guessed, haven't she? Yeah, Nikki might have guessed. Are you ready to... I haven't drawn... I, I, I've just realised I haven't drawn her face on yet. We'll have to draw her face on. I've just realised I haven't drawn any of their faces on. We'll have to do that. Are you ready? Here we go. It's not a minion. Minions aren't Disney. Oh, dear. Oh, here we go. It is... It is going to be Belle. There is Belle. Uh, should we draw her, her face on there just to make sure that she can see where she's going? I, I've forgotten to draw all their faces on. I usually leave their faces to the last minute so that uh, they stay nice and fresh. And I have forgotten to do all their faces. So we'll do Belle's and then and then we'll do another one at the end. I knew there was something I had to do. So we get in there. We have to do, do you know what colour eyes Belle has? Uh, have I got the right colour pen? Yes, I have. What colour eyes do you think Belle has? I'll show you. They are brown eyes. They match the colour of her hair. I know all the princess ca uh, eye colours. Very sad, isn't it? Very sad. She's got red lipstick, which is the same colour as a rose. Like that. And then... We need the little white bit on our eyes. Like that. There we go. And there is our lovely Belle. So well done if you guessed Belle. I'm going to put Belle, where should I put Belle? I'm going to put her de uh, just there for a minute. We've got another one to do. Are you ready for the next one? This one, I've never made this one before. This is a new one. I'm not actually sure if I like the way she's came out. I need to change the proportions a bit. But she's all right, she's okay. I think she's all right. Again, I haven't done a face, but we'll do a face. I should, I'm only going to show you the bottom again. You ready? What do you think? Who can guess what that is? Any guesses? There you go. It's green. Green. It's got two types of green on it. Who's it going to be? I've never made this one before. Is anybody going to guess? I'm going to show you again. Okay. I'm going to count to three. I'm going to reveal her. Are you ready? One, two, three. It is Tiana. This is Tiana, and if you don't know who Tiana is, she is the frog princess. And the frog princess uh, from the film The Princess and the Frog, of course, is all set in South America. Not South America, Southern United States. And it's all in the Everglades and the um, and the, the marshes and the swamps. And she gets turned into a frog and she falls in love with a frog. And it's all very exciting. It's all good stuff. Let's do her eyes. Let's give her a nice smile, shall we, as well. Because she gets to marry a prince. Which is great. And there is our lovely Tiana. Oh yeah, a few people have guessed Tiana. There we go. I need to have a practice making her because I'm not sure how, if she came out too well, but I think she's all right. Joe, Joe guessed Tiana. Well done, Joe. That's your, is that your favourite princess, Joe? Is it? Yeah. Ursula? No, Ursula's black and purple. Oh dear! Someone guessed Ursula. Uh, yeah, yeah. We have got a few people guessed. Oh, Gemma said Ariel. That's a good guy because Ariel does have a green tail, doesn't she? Yeah. And uh, yeah, the frog princess. Brilliant stuff. Well done. Okay, let's see what else we've got down here. The next one. Another one I've never made before. However, I quite like how this one's come out. Oh, her, um, her, her tiara's gone down. So I'll have to remake a tiara later on. So here we go. This is... Uh, now this is the one that Ellie mentioned to me when she said... Well, I asked her what her favourite character was. I asked her, Ellie what her favourite balloon character was, uh, Disney character was, and she said it was this one. Are you ready to see her feet? The feet should give it away, I reckon. Oh, that? There we go. She's actually got trousers on. Are they trousers or are they pantaloons? Look at that. What do you think? 
How do you think that? Oh, I'm going to show you again. Any guesses? Cinderella? Oh, now, does Cinderella wear trousers? Uh, I'm going to show you a bit more. She's got, oh, you see a bit of her hair there? A bit heavy. Oh, I think someone's guessed. Look at that. This is indeed Jasmine. This is Jasmine. Look at that. There we go. Should we quickly do her face there? Look. She's got her big gold earrings on. I'd, I've never made Jasmine before. And when Ellie said, could you make Jasmine? I thought, do you know what? I'm going to have a go. So who guessed Jasmine? Was it Caroline there? Uh, Princess or Darren guessed, yeah. Oh, lots of people guessed Jasmine. Yeah. Oh, Je oh, Caroline said Jessie. Look at that. There we go. Um, give her some eyelashes. And some eye colour. We need some nice eye colour now. Look at the right colour because it matches her. There's her nice blue eyes. We've got one more princess to go after this. Let's see if anybody can guess what princess this last one's going to be. And actually, I'm going to tell you, I said princess. She's not a princess. That's a big clue. That's a big clue. She's not a Disney princess. <coughs> Who's it going to be? Is it going to be? I'm going to, where should I put Jasmine? I'm going to put Jasmine over here. Look. Stay there, Jasmine. You're going to stay there? Good girl. That's good. Let's do the last one then. This one is not a Disney princess. There we go. People have guessed it already. It's too easy. I haven't actually finished making it. Oh, did you see that? It popped up. Are you ready? Spider-Man? Danny. Danny guessed Spider-Man. There you go. What do you reckon? I'm going to hold it up to the camera closely. But can you see what's on there? You've all guessed already, haven't you? This is going to be Elsa. Do you want to see Elsa? This is a very special Elsa because Elsa hasn't got a head, hair or arms. So should we make her hair, hair, head, hair and arms? But then you see how we make it. So let's make her head first. And I'm going to blow this balloon up here. This is going to be her head. Looks a bit odd to start with because she's got this big long bit on the top there. Don't worry, we'll get rid of that. Let's do her hair. Claire's guest Elsa, well done. Hello Darren, welcome into, into the video. Here we go, let's do Elsa's lovely hair. Some nice white hair for Elsa. And as I said, Elsa is not a princess. Do you know why she isn't a princess? Because she's a queen, isn't she? She's Queen Elsa. Has anybody seen Frozen 2 yet? I have. I, I've seen Frozen 2. I went for research purposes, you see. Oh, that was just jumped off. Yeah, there are. Yeah, and Nathan is just saying there are a few non princesses. I don't think Anna is a princess anymore, is she? Because she's now a queen. Not that I'm giving, give, giving a spoiler alert there, should I? Oh, she needs, she needs a. um. What's that thing down? It's called down in it. Down her back. She needs a plat. We need arms now. That would be handy, wouldn't it? Get it? Handy arms. See. Pocahontas, I think, is a princess, yes. Darren's asking if, if Pocahontas is a princess. Because she, I think she is because she's daughter of the Indian chief, which makes her an Indian princess. Ah, uh, you don't know what happened, Andy. Andy says she doesn't need to watch it. You do need to watch it. It's very good, Andy. I haven't given anything away. I think we're getting there with our Elsa. Who knows what colour eyes Elsa has? Anybody guess? 
Easy guess, really. Uh, she doesn't have red lips, but we're going to give her red lips. She has pink lips. Hello, Darren and Willow. I've just had a message from Darren and Willow there, my regular watchers. Nice to see you, Darren and Willow. Uh, we've got a few regular watchers. I need to say hello to a few of them, actually. It's nice to see you come back week, day after day to see this every week. It's lovely to see familiar faces. When I say that, I don't mean I can see familiar faces, but, you know, I can sort of see you with the comments. Last one. Little bits like that to our eyes. And there we have our lovely Elsa. So well done for guessing there. Yeah, there we go. All right. Pink. Who said pink eyes? No, she has blue eyes. She has pink lips and blue eyes. So I'm going to put Elsa. Where am I going to put Elsa? I'm going to put her over here. Elsa, stay there. She's going to be frozen in place there. Look. Whatever I do, I mustn't let her go. Anyway, enough of the silly jokes. Now then, I had a few messages, so we've got some announcements to make. Now then, um, let's see. Uh, yes, so Ollie. Ollie asked me to make something. I'm going to come to Ollie's in a minute. And then we had, a, I just literally in the last half an hour had a, a drawing sent in to me from JJ. And he drew me an amazing picture of Red, the fire truck, from Cars, Pixar's Cars which was a brilliant picture. I'm going to have to print all these out and put them on my wall because they're amazing pictures. JJ's been doing some fantastic pictures for me. So thank you, JJ. Excellent. JJ also asked me if I could say happy birthday to his friend. Uh, I'm not sure if he's going to be seeing his friend anytime, but uh, I'll say happy birthday to her for you, JJ. So happy birthday to Florence. Florence is five years old. All right. So happy birthday, Florence. I hope you have a good day and uh, I hope you enjoy your birthday. So well done. Now then, uh, I said about Ollie. Ollie, I asked Ollie if he could tell me his favourite Disney character. And this is another one I've never made before. Never. So this is the first time for me. I've only made his, his top half. All right. I'm not going to make the rest of him because he's quite big. He came out bigger than I imagined. So this is... Uh, let, I'll tell you his name. You can guess what animal he is. His name is Ed. So can you guess what film... And what animal he is if he's called, called Ed. Who knows um, the name or who knows what kind of animal Ed is. Let's have a look see what messages we've got coming through here. Uh, oh, that's a, uh, We've got oh the, the name of the old man in Up. Does anybody know the name of the old man in Up? It's Mr. Something. Can anybody answer that? What's the name of the old man in Up? Darren's asking. Oh, the dog is called Doug, isn't he? No, it's not dog. Oh, it's not dog. It's not a dog. No, it's not a dog. I'll give you a clue. The animal is in The Lion King. The Lion King. What animal in The Lion King is called Ed? Anybody know? I'm going to hang to have a look here. Yeah. A duck. Ed the duck. Yes, very good. Yeah, uh, Robin. Is it a horse? It's not a horse. No. Think of a, a wild jungly uh, safari type animal I think Andy's got it Andy has guessed it Ed is one of the hy hyenas in the Lion King yes he is I have made Ed for Ollie are you ready to see it, Ed? Uh, oh Carl going back a bit Carl is the name of the old man in up Darren that answers your question see we're here doing all sorts of services today thank you Nathan for answering that so here we go Ed the hyena there he is. Look at that. How about that for Ed the hyena? Uh, I've made this for Ollie. So Ollie, I hope you like him. He's a bit, he's a bit goofy. Uh, he's got his eyes all, all, all a bit mad and skewy there. Uh, and uh, how, you, how, how are you doing, Ed? Are you all right? Yeah, yeah. I think he's all right. Yeah. What are you eating today? Uh, yeah. He, he's, I don't know what he's eating. He's a bit hungry at the moment. Uh, who said duck? Look at that. Not Ed the duck. So this is Ed the hyena. And he is the funniest hyena uh, you've ever seen. There you go. I had fun making him this morning. I've never made Ed before. And I'm quite pleased with how he came out. I think he's easier to make than the other two. And the other two hyenas were called Shenzai and Banzai. All right. 
And uh, for Shenzai, was voiced by Whoopi Goldberg, if you, which is amazing. So, yeah, but this is Ed, and I, I like Ed. I might have to finish his body off at some point. He's not got no body. But, there we go. You stay there. Uh, in fact, where can I put him? Will you stay there? Do you think we can stand him up? We have a go. Let's see if we can stand him up. Ed, are you going to stay there? If we can stand him up, that'd be amazing, wouldn't it? Stay. Stay. He's going to be creepy now because he's going to sit there and watch you all. Look at that. Watch them, Ed. Watch them. He's going to watch you. Excellent. So well done, Ollie. Thank you for guessing, or, or thank you for choosing Ed to make. That was a brilliant choice. That's when it, Ah, that's cool. Okay then. Oh, Russell's the Boy Scout in, in Up. Well done. And uh, yeah, yeah. Robert said uh, uh, Carl is the old man as well. Thank you, Carl. Uh, thank you, Carl. Thank you, Robert, for guessing Carl there. Or let us know Carl's name. Well, we're surrounded by balloons already. We've got one more balloon to make. Uh, let's see what how long we got. Yeah, it's about one more balloon to make. And uh, this is my favourite, I think. One of my favourites. My favourite film is actually um, uh, Basil the Great Mouse no, Start again. Basil the Great Mouse Detective, or in America it'd be called the Great Mouse Detective. But um, before I do the last balloon, I just remembered I've got to do the competition. This is for a local school I did a show for, and I had to guess. Uh, I'm going to show you the mermaid. This is a week old now, so it's gone a bit down. There's not much of a left. She's a bit of a dead mermaid. Oh. A bit, bit of a dead mermaid. Stay. So she's not my. She's lost her arms. A bit. Her arms have gone down a bit. Uh, but I asked everybody to guess how many bubbles were in this mermaid, and the answer was 89, which I announced uh, a few days ago on Facebook. All right. And uh, I have my winner, and I don't know who the winner is yet, but I do have it over here somewhere. I don't know who the winner is. It's in here. There's a bit of paper in there. I got somebody to write the name down in here, and uh, we're going to take the piece of paper out and see who it was. Are you ready for this? Here we go. I'm going to pop the balloon and find out who it is. Yes. Let's see who won the competition to guess. Now I, I know that um, nobody got it right. Nobody guessed 89. However. Four people, I think it was, four people said 90. So what we did, I put all those names in a hat, I asked someone to pick out a name, write it on this piece of paper, and we put it in that balloon, and then we'll have a look. So here we go, the winner is Sophie Louise. So if you're called Sophie Louise, and you guessed on that video that we did for the school last week, uh, Sophie Louise, you have won something, I don't know what yet, but you have won something. I will deliver a balloon to you when it's safe for us to do so. I will deliver a balloon to you, I'll get your details. So Sophie Louise, well done, and uh, and uh, I think that's, a, that's good, well done Sophie. That's a, I think she's a, she gets 90, so well done, that was brilliant. Anyway, last one, let's do the last one, uh, and uh, I've got to reach down here. This is one of my favourites, and probably one of everybody's favourites, but everybody loves this character. Everybody does. Here we go then. Black. Very important colour. Black. I've just got to measure something and I've got to look something. Yeah, that's about right. About there. Do we have any guesses that is something that is colour black? Any guesses? Something Disney that is the colour black. What do you think? I have made a lot of this character already because it would take me a long time to make otherwise. It'd take me about 10 minutes to make and you'll get bored watching. Good guesses coming in. Uh, in fact, so many good guesses. And so many correct guesses as well. 
In fact, more people have said the right guess yet. Yeah. Can you see him waving behind me? Is he waving behind me? He probably is. I've half made him already. He's down here. Look, there he is. I haven't, I've got to finish his head off here, but you could see him waving behind me. He's got his red shorts on, his yellow shoes, he's got his big ears, we need to do his eyes, let's do his eyes, let's do his eyes in a very special way, you have to draw them like Pac-Man, do you remember Pac-Man, if you're old enough to remember Pac-Man, then you have to draw two little Pac-Man characters like that, look. And you colour the ball in. And you do the other one. And there you have our lovely Mickey Mouse. Fabulous. Look at that. Well done for guessing. Guessing me. Who said Black Cauldron? Good business, wasn't it? There we go. Brilliant. Where should I put him? I'm going to put him in front of uh, Yoda there for a second. Stay there, Mickey. I'm going to put Tiana in front of Ed there. Stay there, Tiana. Is she going to stay there? She should do. Good. Well done, Tiana. Now then, boys and girls, um, a couple of weeks ago, I was uh, I took part in a big uh, a thing which was called A Million Bubbles of Joy, in which... 400 balloon people from around the world made big balloon sculptures to put outside their houses. Well, I've been informed that the Million Bubbles of Joy is coming back this weekend. And so I'm going to put a big balloon sculpture on my front porch like I did last time. I'm going to go bigger this time. I've decided to do something Easter themed. So if you are in my area and you're going out for a walk, right, don't go driving anywhere, but go out for a walk for your exercise and you walk past my house, you will see on my front porch porch a uh, hopefully something big and eastery can you guess what it might be i'll have to show you a picture of it next week all right um now then we're coming to the end of our show hope you've enjoyed it we've got all our i'm um, um, full of balloons again i've got too many balloons to give out haven't i uh, I, I think the neighbors are going to be very happy to have half of these um so boys and girls if, if you have enjoyed today thank you so much uh, send me an email if you'd like um, following this, in a, in a short while, if you'd like to watch a magic show, we've got Mr. Tall, the amazing Mr. Tall. If you if you put uh, the amazing Mr. Tall into Facebook, you'll find him. He is doing a magic show, all right, in about in about half an hour's time or so. Okay, that is at four o'clock, so you could head over and see him if you're if you're sticking around for a while. So that'd be good. Um, and I'm going to see you next Thursday. So I'm not doing a show on Sunday. I'm going to be back next Thursday. Okay. And uh, I look forward to seeing you then. Oh, and I'll tell you what the theme is. The theme next Thursday is going to be all about TV cartoon characters. So things like Peppa Pig or Scooby-Doo or any other TV themes. What we've got, Ben and Holly, isn't it? And uh, anything like that. So if you've got a favourite TV cartoon character, send me a message. Send me an email, and uh, if you'd like to draw a picture of it, you can do that as well. All right, so send me your messages, and uh, let me know any birthdays, let me know any announcements, and next week I'll see you on Thursday at 3 o'clock for our next balloon cupboard. So I will see you then. So bye, everybody, and don't forget to stay indoors and stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Bye.